Some call it a marketing gimmick. Others say there's truth to the concept of Blue Monday. Tomorrow is described as the most depressing day of the year. The holidays are over and winter is wearing on. And this year it comes during a global pandemic, which some experts worry is having a real impact on mental health of Canadians. To talk about strategies and tips for beating Blue Monday, we're joined by Dr. Caddy Kamkar, a clinical psychologist with KMH. Now, Dr. Kamkar, often you know, back in the day before COVID, people would say this is a time when all the bills come in and, and so on and so forth. And therefore, you know, the holidays are officially over. But I think for a lot of people, that's like the least of their worries. So how would you describe Blue Monday? Yes, and uh, thank you very much. Um, such an important topic. We certainly know that there is no scientific basis behind uh, this study, and certainly, as you have mentioned, the author did look at a variety of items, put them in the equation, and found that the third Monday of, of January has been found to be the saddest uh, day of the year. Some of the items, again, as you have mentioned, reporting in terms of the reduced sunlight, post-holiday deaths, um, and the difficulty could be uh, keeping up with the um, with the New Year's resolution. Mm -hmm. But I think that it's really looking at the opportunity to talk about, again, about mental health and the raising awareness, continuously providing education and reducing stigma. And now more important than ever, because we have seen that, yes, uh, with the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the mental health needs of Canadians have been on the rise. And certainly this winter will likely lead to an increase in depression overall. And this is not because of any changes in the amount of exposure to sunlight uh, that people might be exposed to, but because of the unprecedented um, in the increase of depression due to the pandemic. CTV is a division of Bell Media, and of course we have Bell Let's Talk Day later on this month. Uh, a lot of people would love to have a professional to talk to, but obviously it's getting more and more difficult because so many people are calling on professionals. What advice do you have to those people uh, to really just hang on and, and you know, try and, and get through all of this? Such an important question. Uh, you know, before the pandemic, um, we uh, did have actually virtual uh, treatment, virtual therapy, mm -hmm. and online platform uh, to provide the care, certainly telemedicine. But now we have certainly seen it has um, received growing attention and awareness. And we have seen that even uh, through the findings um, the, from CAMH, an increase in over 3,000% in terms of uh, the online use for, uh, for telemedicine and for treatment. Uh, certainly people, there are a variety of uh, ways that people seek, uh, can seek support and resources. I always welcome everyone to visit the kamecha.ca slash COVID-19 website. Mm -hmm. Certainly you're welcome to call us. That is um, uh, connect and access the CAMH. People can also have uh, their family physician to send any referrals and variety of other resources as well that people can have access to care whether in person but then also online as well so that there is no concern about, of course, this is a pandemic, but no concern about commuting or anything like this. Again, uh, the message is here. There is no need to suffer in silence. Uh, we have a variety of treatments available, and treatment does work and is effective. Okay, uh, Dr. Caddy Kamkar, thank you very much. I hope you are well and remain well, and I wish you all the best. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much, and be safe.